Welcome to the fourth video in the Acontis EC Engineer tutorial video series. Over the course of these videos, we will cover a variety of topics to help you get started with and use EC Engineer. In this video, we will walk you through a configuration with slave devices that are based on the Modular Device Profile, or MDP. First, some background on the Modular Device Profile. The Modular Device Profile is an ETG specification, ETG5001, and it was created to provide a basic structure for masters and configuration tools to easily handle slaves with a complex or modular structure. A link to the ETG website for the MDP specification documents is in the description. MDP is most typically used for devices like gateway devices, where the device is converting from EtherCAT to another field bus like CanOpen or DeviceNet, or devices that have physically different modules that can be interchanged, like a device with a common front end but with the ability to have different modules for digital or analog inputs and outputs in different slots behind the front end, or devices where the process data of the device is structured as modules, like a drive with different nodes for velocity or torque mode. In this video, we will be working with an MDP device from Omron, which is a device that can have various different physical modules, and also a device from Baumuller, which is a drive that structures the process data as modules. So first, we will start EC Engineer and create an offline configuration with a Class A master. Add in the Omron MDP coupler, which is the NXECC203. In the device editor area, when you are selected on the MDP device, you will see a tab for modules. Click on this tab and you are presented with a screen where you can assign the modules from a list of all available modules for that device type. Select the first slot, 001, on the left side to assign a module to this slot. Then scroll on the right side to find the module you want to assign. For our configuration, we will assign an input module, the NXID3417. Select that module from the list on the right, and then click the button with the arrows to assign the module to the selected slot. After assigning the module, the left side auto advances to the next slot for you to assign the next module. Select the Pulse Output Unit Module, NXPG0122, and you can assign this to the slot simply by double-clicking the module. If you assign a module to a slot by mistake, like here we incorrectly assigned the NXIA3117, you can select the module from the left side and click the button with the X to remove it. Now you can assign the correct module that we intended to assign the NXOD3121. Another way to assign modules is to click a module from the Project Explorer area within EC Engineer, right click and select Append Module. Here, a new window is displayed showing the list of available modules that you can assign. The search function is helpful if there are a large number of modules supported. We will search for the NXID6142-6 and assign it by selecting the OK button. Now we want to add another MDP slave to the configuration, so we will select the first slave device, right click, and select Append Slave. We will search for the Baumuller BMAXX53 series and add this slave to the configuration. This slave is a drive that supports different modes as modules and can also be equipped with an optional safety module. Click on the slave device in the Project Explorer area and you can expand the list of modules to see what is assigned by default. Click on the Modules tab in the Device Editor area and notice there are only three possible slots to assign for this device. The first slot is for selecting the mode. By default, Position Mode is assigned. Click the X button to remove this module and now you can see a list of available modules that you can assign to that slot. Modules that are not allowed to be assigned to that selected slot will be grayed out. Select Velocity Mode and assign that module to Slot 1. Slot 2 is only for the optional Safety Module, so you can only assign it or unassign that one module. 
We will assign it for our configuration. Be sure to save your project when you are done. It is also possible to detect MDP-based slaves in EC Engineer by scanning a local network with physical devices already connected. Here in this demonstration, we have connected an MDP slave already to our system. Create a new configuration and add a Class A master to it. Now, instead of creating an offline configuration like before, select your link layer and network adapter from the drop-down menus beneath Slaves Connected to Local System, click the Select button, and scan the network with the integrated master by right-clicking on the master and selecting Scan EtherCAT Network. After the scan is completed, you will see the list of detected slaves and modules in the Project Explorer area on the left. Thanks for watching and hopefully you now have a better understanding of slaves based on the modular device profile and how to build configurations with MDP devices. In our next video, we will show the remote configuration features of EC Engineer, where EC Engineer is connected remotely to another system where the master is running and how to scan for and set up devices connected to this system. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video and other future videos. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or even suggestions for videos that you would find helpful, please comment and leave them below, or you can contact us on our website.